Hey everyone, WanderBots here, and welcome back to some more Library of Arena. I am in hacking casual mode, but I redid all of our uh, teams, so now they actually have proper builds. So currently Malkith's floor is very much just uh, hit them with fire, except for this guy who it does piercing damage because they all do like blunt. Whoa, that was a lot of blunt. Was weird that? sound effects right there. Oh, it's like the paper moving maybe. Yeah, yeah, but because you were going over each card in rapid succession. Ah, uh, that yeah, that's gonna get annoying probably. <laughs> uh, I made yes odds floor uh, all about punching the hell out of things. Wait, so they're all the punks? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so the uh, the intelligence division is currently also the uh, <laughs> bruiser divisions, and I've also started to name some of these after fans and or friends. So we've got Jonas and Aruda so far. I think those are the only two I've renamed. I'll have to go back and go through. If you guys are on uh, on the uh, minion bot section in the discard and you want to be named after it, or you want a discard. character named after it, Look, I'm tired, man. It's fine. Uh, let's see, what are they about? I think it's mostly just like bleed. I think this is the bleed bleed crew. Yeah, these these are all very much about bleed. Now, did you Except build them at one. all in relation to the monsters that are on the yes. floor? Yes. That... Yeah. So that's that's kind of what the original plan was because this one has a lot of bleed. Mm. So like all characters applied twice as many stacks of bleed. So. Eventually, uh, Hode's, Hode's floor is going to be very just like bleed heavy, but mm -hmm. we need more cards and more characters for that. I think Netsax, I just went for kind of like a, a delay build because it's uh, most of his anomalies are about healing. Huh. I don't know. I'll probably poke at it later, but considering I had paralysis, I figured why not. And then Roland's, I think Roland's level is just like whatever the heck. Uh, I think I made mm -hmm. Roland specifically go All for rounder. kind of like a, a just hit him with a lot of uh, dice and hope for the best. So we'll see how it goes. Anyway, uh, let's see, invitations. Somebody was saying that I should do some like general uh, invitations. I'll well, at this point you've reached Urban Plague, but what's that down there? Mm hmm. What's what? Where? So did you already acquire everything from the below the yeah. Urban Plague level? Or? Yeah, there's something about general invites that we can do, but I forget how to do it. People... Oh, so there's the teeth. There's the... Yeah, so these are the books I've already gotten. On oh, the office. Okay. Let's see. But, like, I think you can kind of mix and match these and hmm. maybe get something. I don't know. Let's see what happens when I send two of these. Uh, work Workshop affiliated fixers. Huh. huh. I don't know if we've ever seen them before. No. Okay, so yeah, these are just random people we can we can come across and fight. They gain one strength if all of their allies are alive for the next scene. Yeah. Okay. All of their allies are dead and inflict two feeble on self instead. Okay. But so by mixing these together, we get some unique cards and abilities hmm. that we haven't seen before. Combat start, boost, pierce. Are you sure they aren't going to be people that we meet next no. on the track? No. No, the, uh, so when you mix like two two different page types together, it randomly, well, randomly selects. It's got like a, a, a generated one kind of uh, that gets pulled. I, I, I'm i having trouble describing it, but effectively it's like this one plus this one results in these specific NPCs. Mm -hmm. That said, these are pretty good. Combat start boost pierce dice power by two for this scene. My big worry is, of course, that we're just going to get absolutely dropped. Oh, looks like we can also only have three people for this one. Well, let's give it a shot and see what happens. Because I, I think an, an amount of this I'm probably going to do on my own, uh, just for the sake of... Uh, a good opportunity it? to test our latest design. Go. Are they tinkers of some sort? Yeah, workshop. Yeah, well, Wes Workshop being their name. Yeah. They might work on interesting weapons. Yeah, that Solidarity is kind of good. Once again, Maybe. my favorite song. Okay. Didn't get exactly what I was going for, but that's fine. Get that. I think you can... I think you can... Yeah change who they're targeting. 
So the reason why I wanted to do this build is specifically Brawl lets you use other dice uh, or like other um, dice on this page with ones from random pages in hand. So specifically, it's going to use like Loosen Up and Shocking Blow. So I think I can just kind of uh, mob them and beat them up. We'll see what happens. Or we get clobbered. Who knows? They seem to be winning all the rolls. I seem to be not actually doing too hot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The one character of yours is almost half health. Yeah. It's not great. Yep. I think they, yeah, on Clash Win, Restore Light. On, yeah. So, oh, the other thing is, uh, I'm just going to go back to title. Forfeit really? The yeah, I think specifically this group is also uh, heavy on Pierce, and I think these guys might be weak to it. Yeah, weak to Pierce. Mm. Uh, I may or may not have sent the wrong group in. It's fine. Anyway, I'm going to take, like, one more look just because. Let's do, like, Zulu and Mika. Just to see what we get if we combo these together. So, Ordinary, Grade 7 Fixer. Grade 7. Yeah, so these aren't nearly as strong. Uh, capable Grade 7 Fixer. Ah, but Slash Stagger Damage and Pierce Stagger Damage. And maybe some new cards that we haven't seen before. So they do... They're weak to Pierce, weak to Slash, and kind of nothing. Uh, let's see, so who's good on that? This group is mostly just Blunt and Slash. This is Pierce and Slash. So we could go for the Bleed build. Yeah, let's go for that. Okay. I think this will be the last that I mess around with these. On camera? Maybe. Okay, so you are going here. You're going here. Let's see, we only have three light. So if I do appetite and then gut harvesting. And if we do... I guess I should have paid attention to what they had. Yeah, I think that's fine. Okay, three to six, one to six. Mm. And then three to four. So I could do Rampage. We're just probably going to miss. This is a really active baseline. Okay. That one. Oh. They're all going in. Oh, but I can do this. What do we have? Daring daring decision. On use, discard a page with the lowest cost. On use, restore one light. On use, discard all cards. Mm. Nah, screw it. Let's just do it. I wonder if I can utilize some extra. So which of these is weak to slash? There we go. Alright, let's give this a shot. Because, yeah, if I actually pay attention to weaknesses and don't <laughs> just goof the game, it's probably a lot easier on me. Yep. And then I think we're also applying a fair bit of bleed here. Okay, so what do we have? Axe. Slash damage, gain extra power. Take extra stagger damage when a slash attack does not connect. Uh, or block dice gain extra power. Let's just go axe. Which of my characters is good at slash? You, apparently. So this is the creature with the skin for faces, right? Uh, I think the axe was the weird shoes, actually. Oh, oh, but there, for some reason, one of the cards available to you was the It skin. was one of those, yeah. I decided mm -hmm. against that one because... Didn't... Uh... Didn't want it? Okay, let's do a gut harvesting. Oh, yeah. Then I might as well do a cooking prep. Uh, let's see. Discard a page with the lowest cost. Actually, we should do these in reverse. Just in case it makes me discard the second one. I don't know if mm. it specifically hoards pages. There we go. That's some big damage. 
So interestingly enough, it looks like the most I can ever bring out at a time is three. Because of all the bleeding, I, I think this is the bloodiest I've ever seen the field. Huh. I didn't actually think about that. Uh, let's see. So the scene, enemy is allured. Allured enemies pr prioritize this librarian as a target, deal extra damage with attacks. Game powering clashes against allured enemies. Ooh. Maybe I'll just do social distancing. Let's see. Speed dice slot, speed dice slot. Who is the... Hmm. No idea. Do it on them. Who's left? Oh. <laughs> uh huh. This poor person. I didn't know they'd survived. And now I just feel bad. We. Alright. Nice and easy. Yeah, so I'll probably just do these off camera. Uh, mm -hmm. Just because there's no dialogue associated with them. So if we run into like trouble and we're. Yeah, you're, you're just acquiring more cards essentially. Yep. Which, well, cards and like. Uh, cards and also kind of books that you could equip with their own stat bonuses and whatnot. Which, at this point, we can actually equip those abilities and that's. Oh, be useful. what were some of the requirements for new creatures on each of the floors? We can go take a look at that in a second. I'm just going to burn these books. Alright, so what do we need? So book of question mark. 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 <laughs> okay. Unlock all middle floors and urban nightmare. So let's just go invitation. And why don't we just finish the gaze? Oh, so you don't want to do the other question marks that were in the middle? Uh, you know, we could, but we were kind of dealing with the train last time. So let's finish dealing with the train? Olga. Wait, do we not? Do we not have Book of Dalok? Hold up. I thought we had a Book of Dalek. Oh, Alec. Yeah. But not Dalek. So actually, I think we might need to get it via one of the other ones. Well, what about this one? Can I do it? Book of the Car Carnival, Book of Lobotomy Corporation. We have <laughs> Carnival. Oh no, we do actually have both of these. So oh, sure, let's do the let's do this one. This is the uh, the weird. Well, I'd say the book uh, bug people, but I guess they're supposed to sound happy. Whatever. Right, and these were the were these the people that were trading. These with were them? the fingers, I think. Mm. Oh no. This won't do. But ma'am, we don't have enough cash, any cash left over to offer you. If you're out of money, then you shouldn't have asked for more protection from us, no? But the outside is covered in fog. We don't know what's out there. We'll get killed. We aren't safe here either. Thugs could break in at any moment. Oh, give me a break. Nest life must be too engraved in your... Uh, I don't actually remember what voice I'd use for these it's guys. It's been such a long time. Yeah, we uh, we recorded a couple episodes. He seems kind of more lackadaisical yeah, and sly, okay. whereas the other the guy, guy looks stern. I think the guy the stern voice. Oh, give me a break. Ne nest life must be too engraved in your heads to get, get where you stand right now. I thought maybe we could expect better from the household with the highest income around here. Sire, so, shall we cut one off? Please do. These people will have to become accustomed to the rules of the back streets soon enough. Hey, consider this a free lesson for you. Looks like an eye and something on their hands. Oh, uh, well, maybe they maybe they had some of their eyes gouged out and that one was just doubled over. Uh, let's see. Can I check? Here was here. Yang is the we could take one arm from each. Please, have mercy on us. You can't be such heartless people. And did you spare any mercy for us while we struggled in the back streets, covered in filth and blood? No, you simply spectated our suffering from the comfort of the nest, did you not? It's rather infuriating now that I think about it. Yang, let us take an eye from them as well. Yes, dame. Got your arms first. He didn't ask for this. You people came into our house all of a sudden and threatened us to pay protection money. So we've ke so have we kept you safe or not? I'm pretty sure we all took care of we took care of all the bad guys trying to get here. And got your eyes as well. What do we do? How are we gonna live now? 
The nest fell so suddenly. What a bunch of crybabies. We're being quite generous as backstreet businesses go. Now, now. We'll be going then. Please don't forget today's lesson. If you receive something, you should return that favor accordingly. Imagine if it was the ring protecting this area, not us. Oh dear, the thought alone is terrifying. Oh, and please leave this house by tomorrow. Gin, confiscate the apartment deed from these people, will you? You'll be visited by much less pleasant fellows next time, so you better move out as soon as possible. Now then, we've collected the protection money and got our fabric. Shall we go back and pay our due credit? Ah, by the way, Gein, how is the current situation with Elcorp's nest? It's fierce. This is the first time in a long while the thumb and the index got in a turf war over an area. Everyone must be thinking this is the promised estate or something. The same can be said for us, no? On another note, the rusted chains have already proved to, proved to be an issue, but we've been colliding with blade lineage more, more often these days. Perhaps we should have a friendly conversation with them before the tension overheats. <sighs> Run, dame. Wait, well, are they a werewolf? Oh, I guess... That's yeah. a lady. Tanya? I guess so. so. What are you? Sup, fellas. Got some games with your business? She has the head of a dog? A dog in a black coat? Are those kind of surgeries hip with the kids these days? Captain, that appears to be one recently dubbed as Le Heur de, de Lou. Ah, so wolf. Loop is yeah. wolf. Oh, so she's a wolf, not a dog. Still appears to be a little bitch to me. Funny, in it? Laugh while you can. Let's see. We have around a hundred Kurokumo punks here. You speak as if you can take us all on. That's the plan. Yeah. Let us teach that pup a lesson. Ha! Huh. Weak sauce. I could have crushed you like bugs even before I turned to what I am now. All right. Why don't you gather round and kneel? The dead? Welp, they can't be helped. What is it you want? Hey, I have plenty of wants, gal. Want to have a ton of cash in my hands. Want to live in the nest for once, too. But before any of that, I want to make some music. Fucking hell. Shut your yap already. Whoa. Look at their skull go. Flew right out of the park. Home run. Tell us what you demand from us. Oh, ah. What I want from you guys? Right. That was the point. First off, the piece of cloth you're carrying? Give me that. Uh, this Nuovo fabric is for the thumb, though. My boss showed an interest in that thing. Heard that's a pretty nice cut of cloth. Guess he wants us to suit up before the performance. You must know the consequences of making an enemy of the thumb. The thumb? Pfft. Tell him to bring it on. I must smash them all. Oh, and take your goons to the library, will ya? The library? The building that is rumored to be at the center of this nest? Yep, that thing. So, you're after the wealth this land can bring after all. I told you it's not that, or it. I do want to earn some bucks, but music comes first. But for what reason? Beats me. My boss? No. I mean, the orchestrator of our ensemble wants us to get rid of those noisy syndicates like the thumb or the index so that we can keep to, well, so that we can make some music. Isn't it funny how all of the groups have a theme to them? Yeah. So this is an orchestra 
I suppose. The ensemble? In fancy suits, too. And help out the library while we're at it. Help out the library? Shush, gal. Keep your eyes low if you don't want to get dead. Ugh. Anyway, you guys can take this and head to the library like I said. Go on ahead. Come on, get going already. If you don't get used to- uh, don't use that invitation right now, I'll kindly remove all the bones from your flesh. Um, let us prepare to go, everyone. Your hands are shaking, Galley. Are you sure you're all right? Are you mad at me by any chance? No, it's nothing. And one more thing. If you run off without the books in your hands, you're also dead to me. That was quite intense. Looks like the fingers are fiercely wrestling for the ownership of the nest that L Corp once ha had reign over. Why would they, though? Ever heard, uh, heard, uh, ever heard of holdouts? When a wing is broken, its nest collapses and gradually turns into a slum akin to the back streets. It becomes a lawless land without an owner to uphold anything. Then a bunch of syndicates come rushing in to occupy the land in advance. What happens next? The vacancy in the wings won't stay open forever. When a new wing rises and gets assigned to a nest, the syndicate resells that land to the wing. Of course, the wing can choose to hire fixers or other syndicates to kick out the other syndicates with force instead. But that's another story. What will happen to the feathers living in the nest? Those folks, well, they're all on their own. Hire a fixer, get evicted to the back streets, or try to join another wing, or anything. A nest without its wing is forever, is it, where is no longer a safe haven for its residents. I, this is a, such a flawed system. It is so scuffed. That's typical of the city. If you can't grasp whatever opportunities you find with your own hands, you're bound to fall behind. I wonder what's up with that puppy anyway. That looked like a case of the distortion. Distortion? That's not exactly what I imagined. Indeed. She appears to be highly rational. You call that rational? She seems much more rational than you are, at the very least. Ouch. Ah, this is not meant to be. Where the hell did that... I really don't like saying these, like, the ones before, but... Yeah. I. She's, I mean, obviously, because she has a wolf slash dog head. Yep. It makes sense to say B-I-T-C-H, but... Uh, where did she come from? How dare an impudent whelp like her bite us at, uh, at superior beings? Bite at us superior uh, beings. Yeah, at us superior beings. So just, I suppose, because she isn't human anymore? Or I, what? I suppose. Calm down, Captain. Let's report this to the thumb right after we take care of this. Uh, yes, let's do that. It's ridiculous that someone could treat us, Kurokumo clan, a thumb subsidiary with such disrespect. Here, here. Although, we're in a bad situation. The books listed on this invitation are tempting offers for sure. Seems that the carnivals... Uh, <laughs> Sorry. Seems that the carnivals ended up turning into books. And this book is related to the nest of Elcorp, too. Greetings, dear guests. How did you manage to collect the books that we need the most? Such is the role of the library. This place exudes the smell of blood. And you reek of blood as well, dear guests. Oh my, do we? Let's hit up a bathhouse for a warm one once we finish this. Good idea. There's nothing like a good bath to blow off some steam on a bad day. Drinks are on me. Are there even any bathhouses or pubs left in Elcorp's nest anyway? That's a fair point. We have so much to report and take care of, so much to think about. Are you done with your chit-chats now? Oh, pushy. Now then, shall we head inside? May you find your book in this place. 
All right, so what do they do? Ah, it looks like we've got two Throw Kumo ads. henchmen first. Yeah, so it looks like a lot of slashing damage. So don't send a group that is weak to slashing. Otherwise, it could actually just send this group because two are, two are resistant. And then, I don't know, they're not that good anyway. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm not familiar with what Kumo means. Kuro is like the darkness or shadow, but... Black bear. Black bear? Yeah. Really? How do you know? Kumo is bear. Oh. Uh, unless I'm wrong. Oh, no. Well, no. yeah, Kuro Kumo... Bear is... Uh, Kumo is bear in Japanese, at least. I know that sometimes, though, the meaning of words changes when two of them are put together. So, for instance, I thought for the longest time that a particular word... Like... What was it? I mean, I thought for a while that like Akatsuki just meant red moon, but it turns out it's actually, was it dawn or I, I don't know, but, but Suki means moon. Okay, so they're doing three. Oh, right. That's why I wanted this. Let's lead with a loosen up and then brawl. Yeah, but the the okay, only Japanese one. words I know of are parts of names and nouns and words that were used for, say, mythological creatures or elements or things of that nature. And mostly from anime and manga. Add some damage. Out. All right, so, ooh. We did get them with a lot of bleed. So that messes them up pretty well. Get some more light. Unfortunately, I think I'm going to need some more card draw. Because yeah. doesn't Hikari and Hikaru mean light to some extent? But then he itself is fire. So it, yeah, it's, there's numerous words that can merge together. It means something entirely different, but also related to some respect. I, I wish I had the wherewithal to actually like pay attention to linguistics. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, some things are really, simple because Inuyasha for instance just means dog demon yeah you, you know what I mean but there, I, th I suppose there is also numerous words for for demon as well King speed max HP goes up is they're nearly broken but is it worth it sure Okay, please tell me he actually drew Brawl. Have they not? No, I haven't actually knocked them down yet. Ouch. Because Oni means ogre, right? Yeah. So when you have something or, like yeah. Oni Gumo, Gumo is the spider, right? Yeah. So does that mean just a large spider, o ogre spider, demon spider? Yeah, I think it's demon spider. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's the damage. And Yuki Ona is pretty straightforward, because isn't it a woman that's usually associated with ice and snow? And Yuki means snow, correct? Yeah. I just don't know what Ona means. Let's see. One of you is weak to slash. It's this one. Okay, so one of them is broken, but also bleeding. Uh, let's just see how, how this goes. Okay, so what's he got? None of his fun moves. Okay. Go for that. They're out of cards. 
I am definitely going to need some other abilities at a later date. Because we are... Uh, let's see. We're a little undergeared for this. Oh, well, maybe not undergeared. Just certain build problems. Okay, what is it? Restore light and on hit inflict bleed. It's a two to seven. Eh, roll the dice. Well, do we want to just subvert, take the six to ten? Yeah, let's do that. They're out of cards. Okay. It's so funny as the sheer number of characters they made for this game, even though they're all only really surviving it for a couple of cutscenes and then dying. Densive. But uh, this is uh, Project Moon is one of those like indie studios that how would I describe it? They're big enough and popular enough that they can kind of do whatever the heck they want. Okay, so you do. Have they made anything beyond Rena and No Lobotomy Corporation? Nope. Uh let's see. She's got nothing. She's got nothing. All we can do is that. Ouch. Bit of a wasted round. Uh so they made Lobotomy Corporation was their first game. Ruina was kind of the direct sequel, and Limbus Company is hmm. their third. That is the kind of like spin-off. Uh, let's see, can I do anything? Nope, he's out. Okay. This is a bit of a slog. Uh, but yeah, I don't think they've made anything else. It's one of those where Lobotomy Corporation, I think, was a, a large enough success that they could just kind of do whatever they wanted. Uh, afterwards, and so they uh, they decided to do. Oh, this is a good brawl in retrospect. I guess let's see how this goes. What? He only used one die. What? Mm -hmm. He's supposed to use like four die, but he only used one of them. Ouch. Yeah, that one person is staggered and both of them are going in for the kill. Yeah, which is not not ideal. Well, we'll just finish that one off. We're gonna lose one character here, but so be it. Well, they didn't actually go down. Wait, are they down to one HP? Wow. Yep. Well, your character is 2 HP, I think, but the yeah, opponent has won on yep. the one. Yep. Okay, so which one of you is actually wailing on me? I think both of them are. Yeah, both of them are. So, Brawl. On use, replace all dice on this page with random ones from the page, whose cost is four, four or lower. So, what should happen when I use this is that... I just wail on them with a whole bunch of different moves. But it didn't seem like that happened. Okay, there we go. They're done. Yeah, because he only has two dice here. I was... Mm. I thought Brawl would do, like, four. I mean, it's still big damage. It's not that big of a deal. Or maybe it did trigger? I have no idea. Because now I have, like, way more dice than I had pr previously. Hey, you know what? Loosen up. We we're just gonna go nice and easy. We didn't end up losing a character here. I'm surprised. Boop. There we go. Yeah, there you are. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to do some... We still haven't faced the characters themselves, though. What was that? No. This is the actual fight. So, weak to blunt, sort of. Okay. Weak to pierce. They don't do pierce. Well, all right. This could go badly. It's 
speed dice, draw draw two more pages at the start of the act, slash dice power, fun slash attack, inflict bleed. I don't know, Brawl Boys, let's let's do this. I don't appear to be opponent. Oh, you just went oh, through I'm all sorry. of their dialogue. I am sorry. That's all right. You're on my favorite map because it is purple and also has kind of synthwave music. This is a pretty melody. And it's kind of chimey. Everything has an echo to it. We're just gonna take some hits. But oh, he's still got something. Just loosen up. Probably just wail on the central one. Okay, if I check three. Okay, that's not as helpful as I was hoping it would be. Oh, unless it tells me. Okay, there we go. I just wanna make sure all of my attacks are going off. Yeah, unfortunately, these characters have kind of limited move, move sets unless I draw the right card. Or mm -hmm. card? Yeah, ouch. However, we should be able to do a fair bit better on the next round. Maybe. Okay, so he got pummeled in a bad way, so we might want to prevent him from taking too much. Or we might not have a choice. Well, that's weird. To switch to the generic music. Yeah. Don't know. Okay. Not that bad. But yeah, scratch that unfortunately gets weaker. Mm -hmm. Uh because you're not really supposed to use it. You're supposed to generate it with like one of your other combos. Unfortunately, when it comes to fists and swords, I don't know. What, just the idea of Yeah. Punching sword people seems like a really stupid idea. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. they seem to be striking through the uh, opponents. That was really weird when you were selecting cards. It almost was like a heartbeat. It's one of the most dissonant, dissonant things that you can have in your ears is another heartbeat that isn't yours. I only ever hear my heartbeat, though, if I have my ear and my pillow a particular fashion at night or something. Perhaps if you overexert yourself, but it's not like we've been running lately. <laughs> no, though we should. Mm -hmm. When the weather's nicer. I'd love to get an elliptical at some point in the yeah, future, though. We almost did when we were in Portland. Yeah, well, we had the, we would have had the space for it then, but not anymore. Not until we we have a house. Well, this is just scuffed. I suppose you have your little floor one that you're supposed to have when you're sitting. I might have to redo this one. You, ooh, I mean, is, she's almost dead, right? But all, yeah, all, all your characters, characters are almost, almost dead. dead. Uh, we drew extremely poorly, and it ruined me. Yeah, you can't even use anything. Wow. Well, 
Yeah. Yeah, this went ba bad. So are you just going to restart? Or do you have to see it through to the end? Uh, I got to see, see it through to the end. I don't uh, think I can... This is the only loss you've been encountered Yeah, so this far. is the first time I've lost. And I mean, who knows? Maybe Yesod can pull this out, but unlikely. Yeah, he done. Yeah, because he's stunned. They hit him. Mm-hmm. All right. Let's see what happens. I think I just lose the book, but since I have infinite books... Oh. Oh no. They have to fight you? Interesting. Yeah. So you can't use any. So, in a way, your lesser floors are your hench group. Yeah. All right. Works for me. So, I'm still a little wounded, but so are they. All right. Well, that's helpful. Because this means my A and B teams can actually, like, do stuff. Okay, so they're doing that. Commandeering. And then who's the most vulnerable? They are. Let's just do Brawl, see if we can take them out. We got one. Okay. Yeah, I'm definitely going to need some card draw at some point if I can get it. Because I think that is kind of one of my big limit limiting factors here. Mm -hmm. There we go. That's the damage. It is interesting how there's collision against the walls and such. Characters keep pushing each other over. Okay. But yeah, seeing as they're the most injured. But we got plenty. If they had a six, why didn't you put them up against their five? Uh, because these two are gonna uh, fight. Mm -hmm. Two to seven, two to four, and two to five. I don't know. I do have a tailoring. They're pretty much dead. But we're just going to kind of do whatever. Because, yeah, I think this guy's going to take some... Oh, he's got a silly amount of protection. I didn't even notice that. Only saves him so much. Okay, have they not bled to death yet? Wow. Mm -mm. They're still going. I'm impressed and slightly annoyed. Can't do that. We just do a commandeering. Let's try and finish them off. There we go. I think part of Look the reason. Yep. Yeah, part of the reason why I think I was having trouble against this group previously was they stack a lot of protection, so they were just taking considerably less damage. So the uh, big fight fight build was not uh, capable of dealing with that, but that's okay. All right, that took that took some effort. So did you lose one of your characters? Yeah, they'll they're back. They get instantly revived. We'll probably get even more guests trying to take over Elcorp's nest. You always say that. Is there any real difference? You heard what that doghead said. Now we have the thumb, the index, and whatever third party she belongs to. It doesn't sound like a random run-of-the-mill syndicate, seeing as how she talked to the members of a finger with, that, with so much confidence. It seems it's not just the major syndicates that have the incentive to be involved in turf wars like this. The smaller syndicates are meddling so willingly. Well, basically. Whatever goods the head honchos take interest in are naturally going to attract the attention of those below them. 
the thumb or the index. Probably won't take direct, a direct action for now, but their subordinates are nothing to sneeze at. Grabbing their attention might be beneficial for the library's wealth of info, but it's going to be tough for us to stop them if we escalate things any further from here. I just hope the other fingers stay out of this. Things would get out of hand otherwise. Out of hand, but I'm... <laughs> I don't know, if, if it was the entire hand? I'm fine with it as long as the results benefit us. Alright, uh, let's see, burn books. And then Seo, yeah. And then the Kurokumo clan. Yep, got a bunch of them out of that. So I should probably take a look at what they give me. Okay, so Deep Wound, upon winning a clash with offensive dice, inflict bleed, slash attack. Ooh, successful slash bleed on the next scene. So Razor Strike's pretty good. Okay, Yang. It's a Sayo and Yang, yeah. Yeah, Yang is, when inflicting bleed with combat pages, apply an additional stack. Uh, and then Sayo. So extra speed dice slot, draw two pages, uh, two more pages at the start of every act. Extra slash power, and upon a successful slash attack, bleed next scene. Mm. So... Maybe good for the bleed. Film. Yeah. Uh, that was this group. Save current setup. Uh, which is... Do I not have bleed? Maybe I don't. I don't know. It might also be slasher, but I'll just leave it as bleed. Okay. So what we're going to do... Key page... Sayo's page. That instead. You're giving everyone Sayo's page? Everybody. Wait. Okay, he's got Mars's page. I'll come back to this. <laughs> uh, oh no! <laughs> Not Roland! Uh, okay. I... Or is Mars's? There it is. I, I love the fact that it just uses the character model because why not, right? Mm -hmm. Roland, Roland's got some some teats. All right, uh, let's see. Load bleed, import. That does mean that this group is going to be a little one note, but on the flip side, that one note is a lot of bleed. This also is very, from a visual level, very not quite hoed, as far as I'm concerned. Mm -mm. Uh, oh shoot, what were they, what did they have? Uh, ah, here we go. I think it was these. So we want to empty the bookshelf. Oh no, and reset it. Attribution, empty the bookshelf, revert attribution. So Walter's page is pretty good, so I'll have to put that on other characters. We also had this one, which I can clear out. So what are you doing? Are you getting uh, So I'm books? unequipping pages from characters that I'm not using uh, so that I can use them in other ones. Ah, uh, okay. So if we go back to equipped page, Sayo's page, we can do edit key pages. So I can go in here and we can search things like bleed and see what we've got. So digging shank when inflicting bleed using combat pages, apply an additional stack. So that's really good. We want that. Uh, yeah, so see. that's all Yang and Keening the Kurokumo. Yeah, and you can see it's grayed out if it um, if we can't apply another one. So we have Backstreet Butcher, which is open wound, which is more damage against enemies with bleed, which I think is pretty much the only other thing I can add to this. So we can then grab all three of these, and technically we've got space for one more slot. So if I could do like, I don't know. Passive abilities. Slash. There we go. You can you can search for like slash and get like a bonus. So slash stagger damage plus two, which is pretty good. Close this, equip that, and we've got a full lineup. Of course, now I gotta remember that for each and every one of them because I'm pretty much going to just duplicate the build. I don't think there's a way to. Mm. To copy it. Those over. Yeah. yeah, I wish I wish I could. Okay, so I already got that one. Go back with that saving. Yes. So back to this one. So Gin's page, Yang's page. Uh, 
Uh, let's see, what was the other one? Grade seven fixer for the slash stagger damage. And the last one was all the way down here. Backstreet's butcher. So easy enough for me to set these up. Normally I'm not going to uh, change my builds in the middle of a video, but we just almost lost. So it's kind of like, eh, it seems reasonable enough. And this one also has a number of benefits for bleed. Yup. It's Jack's page. Oh yeah, Jack's page is just healing. We don't care though. Open wound, there we go. I'll have to poke at these later, once we have more. Uh, let's see, so invitation. So we've completed this one. Uh, hmm. We still haven't gotten the book from these uh, to continue this one, so I guess it's gonna be one of these. Let's just pick this one. Book okay. of Walter and Isadora. Oh, that's been a while since I heard those names. Mm -hmm. They're among the first, weren't they? Dawn Fixer. I've prepared your usual tea, Master. Thank you, Philip. Um, Master. Good grief. This is what I must hear from my old friend. This tea has a strong aroma and taste today. I like it. Thank you for the compliment. What's the news you received from your old friend, if I may ask? Philip, have you heard of the library? Yes, although I know little about it other than, a, than, the, than that it's an urban legend. It has recently been exalted to an urban plague, and it appears that the Zvi Association 6 fell victim to it. Section 6. Or what did I say? Association ah. 6. And the old friend of yours is. Yes, it's Walter. He seems to have fallen in the library. Foolish old pal. He struggled so much trying to rise up the ranks, and yet this is how he ends. Sorry for your loss. I heard he was your colleague back in the back in this vi. Must be heartbreaking. My heart is unscathed, boy. I was never fond of Walter. Pardon. He didn't quite have the potential to be a capable man. He seemed clever, but his thoughts were one-dimensional. And his habit of making rhetorical questions. Goodness, that was annoying. Although I suppose he did have some talent, seeing as he managed to stay in section, section 6 without getting demoted further. Perhaps it was savoir-faire, or mere luck. Huh. Yuna. And the... Did she just have a cello? Yep, on her apparently. Back? I, I like the modifications they've made where there's some butterflies. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty. Ah, I'm sick of the smell of sangwa cha. What, what is that? Is it a type of... It's probably some Korean drink. Some tea? It's even stronger today. Hello, Soonbae. Hey, Philip. Looks like you're getting better at making tea by the day, huh? He certainly is. Philip is an expert when it comes to brewing sangwa cha. Perhaps I, or maybe I should learn from him so I can make some more for my wife. Thank you. Cut it out with that awkward smile. You didn't join our office to make tea all day. Now, Yuna, Philip has shown excellent results in the field as well. He's become a proud grade five fixer now. His sangwa cha expertise counted as uh, counted towards grade evaluations. He would have easily become a grade one and gotten a color too. Yes, if we were to receive a color, perhaps it would be bright yellow. Much like the hue of this egg yolk fo floating atop the tea. What? Oh. So, in the coffee talk game that I was playing, mm. I don't believe it had the same exact name, but there was a Korean drink that, drink that was served in that, and it was a mixture of ginger and milk, and yeah, there was an egg that you huh. put in it. So it could be similar. <laughs> it's also the color of forsythia, my favorite flower. Yeah, we have a lot of forsythia bushes outside. Please stop with the silly jokes, Master. Philip needs a trusty role model. Anyway, I've taken care of the request regarding the thousand needles. Wow, you're impressive, Soonpei. Solving an urban legend class request on your own. It was kind of dangerous at the end. I don't know where they got it but they started merging into one using a brainstem focus resonator. What? Yeah, look at all those melted buildings. Uh, really, I Okay. The buildings started melting. Needles kept pouring out of that lump like crazy. People struck by those needles started exploding and creating chaos. It was awful. And the culprit behind that was... 
Was it yesterday's uh, yesterday's promise as expected? Yeah, that seemed to be the case. I honestly didn't want to believe it, but it looks like magic really does exist. Okay, so yesterday's promise. Old faith and promise. Oh. She's holding a needle of some sort, and yeah, it has the magic on it. Uh, is this one? No, abnormality is human bone in a drippy suit. What? Mm. Oh, it's a fan abnormality. Oh, funny. Maybe? Or no, this is somebody posting about it. I see. They they created one based off of kind of the vague description of it in this game. So it wasn't actually in in uh, Lobotomy Corporation. Mm -hmm. Though maybe it's present uh, specifically later on in the game. Strange symbols and stuff were carved onto every needle. I haven't even heard of any other amplification device that can do that. Not from my knowledge, at least. Still, you've dealt with it and came back alive. You are the pride of our office, Yuna. It feels like I'm the only working member, though. And monthly rent is rather intimidating since our office is in the nest. You know, the request I just did won't be enough to cover it, right? Ah, no need to worry about our financial situation. I received a request that could keep us afloat for three months. Is that an urban plague class job or something? It is indeed. An urban plague. What is it about? Is our office going alone? It's the library. I tried contacting the Wedge office, but it seem they seem to be busy with their own work. Thus, we will be taking care of it ourselves, uh, by ourselves for now. Besides, the request was directly assigned to us by the Zvi Association. Perhaps they deemed that they need an office proficient in combat for this job. Got it. I'll make some calls then. Please do, Yuna. This is going to be my first time handling an urban plague cas class case. And your last. That's true, Philip. I know this is your first time with an urban plague class request, but try to loosen up a bit. Think of it as a learning experience. Watch how I or Yuna act on the field. If we get this job done, why don't we throw a party at your house like the last time, Gramps? You sure have ways to get yourself fed, Yuna. You know how much I love to eat, don't you, Gramps? And your cooking is awesome, too. House party, huh? Why the long face, Philip? Got too nervous to take on an urban plague? That's nothing. Well, all right then. I'll be preparing first. Philip, how about a small conversation between the two of us once this job is done? Sure. It seemed as if you had concerns on your mind. Understood, sir. Huh. Gramps is still doing fixer work. You know him? Uh, that's nothing huge. I came across him a few times in the past and owed him some favors. And he's one of the veterans too. He made his bones made his bones to a degree in the smoke war when he was younger. He did seem to have many connections. Although he's washed up now, just like me. He seems to be faring much better than you, though. Oh, did you really have to stab me stab me with those facts? The interior is pretty, pretty slick. Reminds me of the factory we raided as part of the Midnight Pancreas Burgers request. What the hell? Midnight Pancreas Burgers? Well, clearly it's just people that loved making burgers out of pancreases. Yep. Uh, please. I don't even want to be reminded of that case. And I'm not seeing any similarities here. I mean, that factory is also pretty clean and moody for a place where terrible things... Ho 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 ho, Philip! I almost forgot to re retaste the sandwich shaw I drank a bit ago. Sorry, sir. In other words, he was almost about to vomit. Yep. Greetings, dear guests. A pleasure to meet you. You must be Angela. Yes. I am the director and librarian of my role's namesake. Tell me, what should we do to kill you? I'd like to know that. Wait, what? I'd like to know that as well, hmm? I see, I see. You have the capability for casual banter, hmm. Let's cut the chat short, shall we, Master? Now, Angela, do not hope to meet a peaceful end after imbruing, imbruing your hands in so much blood. 
I believe the same can be said of you. May you find your book in this place, then. Okay. So first and foremost... Okay. Nothing to worry about slash-wise. Looks like it's a, a single-act fight. So, can you go to each one and see what they okay, are? Okay, so they to? endure piercing, normal slash normal and physical. Same deal across the board, but weak to punching, at least for Philip. Philip, gain a power by double the current emotion level, up to level one. When inflicting burn using combat pages, apply an additional stack. So he actually has a bunch of burn moves, mm -hmm. which is actually kind of nice. And whoops. What did you do? I right clicked. Apparently that goofs it. That's okay, we can skip all the cutscenes. Skip. Okay. So, extra speed. Start of every act, three random allies gain protection, so that's really good. On a successful hit, do stagger damage if the target has burn. When inflicting burn using combat pages, inflict an additional stack. Yes, some of these pages I can preview, but not all of them because I think it's having some kind of weird resolution issue. So against this group, it seems so only physical, like the punching damage. Holy smokes, that's some damage. Mm. Okay. On hit, inflict a bunch of burn. Hmm. Well, Actually, use... most of his abilities are pretty bad. Will you need to use yes odd against them? Yeah. Uh, maybe? Well, I'm just looking at weak, normal... Yeah, so there are a lot of burn. They don't have extra dice, so I can kind of overwhelm them. She's weak to blunt. He's weak to blunt. Oh, he's, yeah, he's very weak to blunt. So. And it's just normal against It that does bear. seem like the, the yes odd punch him up build probably is my best. I think the big fear is just that if I don't draw, draw brawl early, Mm. Oh, on a random... I see. Not as good as you thought it was? No, it's not. So what I thought this would do is replace every single one of those dice. It does not. Okay, so in that case, give me a second. Let me just redo a couple of things. So Shocking Blow is actually quite bad. We are looking for... Oh, we can only have one scratch that. All right. Well, that's what ink over and tailoring are kind of good for. Uh, let's see. So I guess I should do the same thing here. Yeah, because it's it's shocking blow that is bad. Unfortunately, ink over is not actually that amazing in retrospect. We'll just do tailoring. It gets me a bit of a discount. I don't actually know if this is exactly. Oh, the one downside is tailoring mm. is not blunt. Yeah, I would assume that that would be slashing or piercing. Let's see. Is observe good? No. Dang. It's okay. Yeah, we need we need more. Oops, that's that's the wrong one. We just need more Look, I've abilities. Never a, how often do you have a golden card? Uh, really there rare? are very few of them. Yeah, at least currently. I'm sure we will have so many more later. Okay, uh, I think I'll just deal. Let's just see if Big Punch Group can handle this. What I'm probably going to do, I don't know. So realistically. These two are not that dangerous. Mm -hmm. It almost feels like the best possible thing I could do is just mob the hell out of Sal Salvatore and not think. Salvador. Uh, Salvador, you're right.
not think too much beyond that. Unfortunately, they're going to be beating up Yes Odd. So mm. Maybe that's fine. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, let's just beat him up. Ouch. Because yeah, if I can if I can get him out of the running, there mm -hmm. goes their biggest DPS. I <laughs> lots of punches. <laughs> Whoa. Well, remember they're wailing on Yesod. Like we're probably going to lose Yesod here. Well, really, it was just that there were blades coming out of the case for the cello. Oh, had noticed. Interesting. They're not hitting Yesod. Yeah, Odd. not finishing him off. Unless they figure that he has five bleed or or no the burning. Ouch. Okay, we've got him staggered at the very least. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's see what we've got. So he's in the clear, we've got to scratch that in a and an, and an observe. Do I do brawl and hope for the best? No, I'm just gonna hit him. What's he got? Not too much. And a couple of observes. You know what? Screw it. We're just killing Philip. You mean Salvador. Oh yeah, sorry. There goes Salvatore. Ooh, there, there goes, goes Yassad. Yassad. But it's okay. I say with maximum trepidation. Successful blunt attack. Uh, let's see. Violence or three clash wins. Now let's do metallic ringing on the one character that's in a better state. That's not too much. Because if I do brawl, there. Then we can do a big brawl. Let's see. I think I have enough for more. That's the hit. Mm -hmm. Yep. There he goes. Alright. It is a concern. He's staggered, but he's not gone. And we should be able to intercept her. Yeah, she's not even fighting. Perfect. Alright. And this is where the Brawl build kind of shines, if I can get it to work. Okay, violence. Put it on them. Okay, there's another Brawl. Okay, loosen up. And then Brawl. <laughs> is that a... <laughs> but I don't know what the Swiggle 13 is, but I don't think it matters. There we go. Wiggle 13? Yeah, there was like a 13 above the... Maybe it was their, like, speed roll? I have mm -hmm. no idea. It was, like, above the, the die number, and I don't know. Unfortunately, it's one of those where uh, we only play this occasionally, and so it, uh, some of the finer details probably are just going to escape me. That Graham still hasn't changed after so many years. He didn't seem to recognize you, though. Fixers meet so many people in their lives, it's pretty much impossible to remember them all. And Gramps knows even more people than most Fixers, so there's no way you can recount everyone he'd met. Not like he needs to, though. And he's old, so his memory probably got shaky. Why didn't you say to him that you knew him then? I just didn't want to make a scene. G giving him the time of day would only make both of us uncomfortable. Imagine walking up to your enemy in battle and saying, Hi there, we were friends three years ago, remember? It'd be awkward for sure, and bothersome too. I don't dislike how you try not to leave any loose ends in relationships. 
I guess so. Gave up caring about bonds a long time ago. And as I say from time to time, you never know when anyone will backstab you in this world. Even those who you, even those who you casually joke with. Gramps knew that better than anyone, I'm sure. Hey, Ode. Spider Bud. Oh, spider Bud. Wait, you're entering the Spider Bud? Oh boy. I never really noticed since I have to. Wait, what? Careful not to step on its offspring, but man, it looks gross. Yeah, nasty. It never even come down unless it hurts its babies. It was merciless, but I still love its children. But it still loved its children. Well, it still loves its children. Okay. Oh gosh. So Spider Bud. Spider Bud. Target spider foes bud. that have killed an ally. Hunt does begins to become active and target. Bud does. Target foes for two scenes after an ally dies. We never know when we'll find another prey. Dinner time. Target's foes with a cocoon status effect. Growing children are always hungry. So, what do we? How do we do this? For well, my children. This might take a couple of it. shots. Oh, we can't target it. You will become there. So it is completely immune. Right. Current emotion. Emotion coins, huh? Stagger resist, but yeah, it. Preserve this one. It looks like I have to take out its its little little dudes first. Now, Two we six. have a tasty meal ready for consumption. How children? Sorry, I just. I like doing weird voices for monsters. I just hit that one. Um, oh, they are weak to blunt, is the one issue. Mm. That is not this group not specialty. Group. Not in the slightest. Oh well, we'll see what happens. Ouch. Yeah, this might be tough to get through. Though we do apply a lot of bleed, so I'm gonna give I'm gonna say that has some potential. Okay, so what do we have? So we have lured or slash dice gain extra power, stagger damage when the slash die does not connect, and we're just gonna put that on Hoge. Rejoice! You'll bring joy to my offspring. Okay, so they're still kind of doing the same thing. Disarm. I forget what disarm does. Two to six, two to six. Sanguine red axe. I think it'd be more beautiful. If I do that, it's kind of silly. No, I'm probably just going to take a hit here, aren't I? Let's try and finish that one off. Uh, let's see, we've got four. Don't have anything left, so we might want to just leave that. It's two to six again. Unfortunately, this, this group does not have the highest mm -hmm. caliber of dice. That strikes me. Hmm? Spiders are just really unique in their methods for catching their prey. Because they actually build a, a structure yeah. in order to capture insects and then wrap them up and suck the juices out of them. Most just so unique compared to other creatures. Round. Reduce all speed values for the scene. Do that one. So it doesn't look like Spider Bud has come down yet. Mm. Oh no, there it is. Oh, that. I mean, the Spider Bud's been there, right? But are you saying it's attackable now? Yeah, it is. Go ahead, show that worthless courage you had when you robbed me of my children. 
a prey, marking its predator. How pathetic. You lowly creature. You dare touch my children. You will pay. The hunt begins now. I shall be precise this time. Okay, I think I've read all the lines for for this round, perhaps. Uh, let's just do a bunch of bleed. That should be good. You're aiming that one at. It's in retrospect. All in. All right. So this is going to be a bit messy. Ouch. Okay. Yeah, the goal is to kind of just hit it with a bunch of bleed. Mm -hmm. I might actually stagger it. Ouch. Oh, oh Ouch. Whoa. Okay. Not a good place to be in, but also not as terrible as I thought. I feel so happy about this. It feels like I ruined a family. what some of the other characters are saying. Appetite is just bleed. All right. We are just going to try and kill Spider Bud before anything else untoward happens. I think we are succeeding. Mm-hmm. Dang. There you go. <laughs> Except it looks like Poor the babies still survive, even without the I think bun. they'll go away. Maybe not. All characters apply twice as much bleed. Never mind. We're still in the running, but... I mean, the... the Show me. I stands that I read his leg, legs unusable. Could I take the position of the protagonist? What? What kind of line is that? I should be the one in the spotlight. The competition has, um... Ended. It is just these guys, and I can overpower them. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, let's see. So what do we have? Oh, but you did lose one of your characters. <laughs> yeah, I did lose one of my characters, but you know, I took out Spider Bud. I'm gonna call that good enough. Mm -hmm. Like if you can take out the boss, the minions go down, and easy enough. I like how quiet and peaceful this floor can be, and the librarians here seem calm and collected, just like you are, Hode. Oh. Hey, Roland. They may seem meek and quiet, but when they work, they work hard. I rely on them a lot. And I'm relying on all my librarians, or, and I'm re relying on my librarians quite a bit, too. What are you guys doing anyway, all gathered up here? Doesn't seem like you're sorting books. We were having a meetup on our book discussion. Uh, wait, what? The book discussion club, they have those? Apparently. Of our book discussion club, we pick a book that catches our attention, read it, and then talk about it. Not exactly the kind of meetups the librarians on my floor would like to have. I'm guessing your librarians are all gladly joining you with it, uh, joining in with you then. Yeah, they are. They're helping me out with this more passionately than I expected. I was thinking at least some of them would protest out of laziness. Imagine if you asked Netzak to join. He'd have run away before the meetup could even start. <laughs> oh, you've got that right. He totally would. Still... I can tell things have changed from the past. I used to have similar meetups back in Lobotomy Corp, you see. Really? I suppose th those weren't peaceful book club meetings you have now. You're right. I ran a counseling program with my employees. They were always living in fear of the abnormalities, if they were lucky enough to survive. I wanted to be able to help them somehow. But back then, I imposed myself and my ideas on them too hard. If the employees seemed ever so slightly uncomfortable with the counseling, I beat myself up over it and let the wound fester inside of me. I was upset that no one understood my goodwill. Sorry to say this, but past you sounds like a tiring one to deal with. I know, right? I think so too. All the things I did to help others weren't really out of goodwill or anything. I was just seeking consolation for myself. I wanted forgiveness for the misdeeds I committed in my first life. 
by being helpful to others somehow. So, did you get to be a helpful person? No. There's no way I'd actually be of any help with that kind of mindset. I even tried Enkephalin. Enkephalin, huh? The pressure must have been serious if you started doing drugs. I don't even know if... Is that real? Uh... uh I don't know. Despite everything I tried, I couldn't find salvation anywhere. Is it an actual thing? It's a thing. It reduces stress. Mm. Mm-hmm. I think. I mean, makes sense. She was stressful, it, but... It sounds like they mostly just picked a science-y chemical and said, I yeah, just this one. I just didn't know if it was, you know, of the illegal variety or if it's actually commonly used or something, but... I, Lobotomy Corporation had a serious drug problem, mm -hmm. but... Did you read this one? I, I think so. Okay. Yeah. Nothing I did could liberate me from the fact that I was a bad person and a sinner. And then you almost had the chance to take that weight off your mind. But Angelo foiled, foiled that in the end. Yeah, that's how it went. Even when Angelo was standing in our way, I was only thinking about myself. Selfish, wasn't I? This was my last and one and only chance to finally repent once and for all. But it all came to naught. It's silly. I know. I was still too stupid to realize it then. That you can't just become a good person through a good deed or two. What really matters is the mindset that prompts you to do such deeds. And how do you run into that realization? Well, I learned it after talking to my librarians face to face and holding lots of meetups like this, ironically enough. I carefully suggested having these book club meetups too. Like you said, a few librarians didn't like the idea at first. But when I explained why I wanted to hold this meetup and how I felt, they warmed up to it and helped me out with enthusiasm. It wasn't about the method or the action itself. I realized that we should lay our hearts out in the open and let our thoughts confront each other. All's well that ends well. For sure. Maybe Angela looked forward to this outcome? Hmm. Not sure if our prideful Miss Library Director had the delicacy to set up a plan so considerate. I think I'm going to confront her for real this time. For what exactly? I'll face Angela and let her know what I think. That's gonna take some courage. You're right. Angela still feels a bit distant and scary to me, but I'll try to approach her nonetheless. And I'll be rooting for you from the sidelines when that time comes. You might end up losing your limbs again if things don't go well. Are you going to be okay with that? From a distance, of course. You're a coward just like me, then. Aren't you, Roland? Well, hey, birds of a feather flock together. Let's both be brave, together as cowards. Yeah. Thanks for the encouragement, Roland. Alright, level four. So we have meal. So on hit, dice rolled maximum value, so paralysis, bind, and fragile. On hitting a staggered enemy, all allies reco recover 2 to 4 HP. That's useful. Enemies lose 1 power in clashes against the selected librarian. Upon winning a clash, inflict 1 bind and fragile. Those are pretty good. What are two more levels? So actually, it almost feels like we're getting further do down. And also, we have Valsquiz, who looks... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they look like they belong. All right, well, that's a good stopping point, at least for now. So I will probably poke at uh, some general invitations just to see what which ones have really good abilities that I can utilize. Uh, and then we'll pick this up uh, again later. Uh, I'm going to try and switch this around so it's it's maxed out. I think I understand more of how it works. Mm -hmm. uh, and so I think I can I think I can optimize the big punchy build. I would misread how the brawl card works. And now that I haven't misread it, I should be able to use it a lot better. But for now, anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.